Today, I'm going to be cheating in a secure planet build challenge. By pasting in all of the planets inside of each other, I'll be able to create a bunch of layers of security to troll my friend Gold. Will he find out that I cheated? Watch until the end and subscribe to find out. Gold, we're back in space! Wait, how did we get here? Uh, because we took our rocket, duh. I don't remember getting in a rocket. Yeah, I put you in one while you were sleeping. What? That's not cool, Llama. But guess what we're doing today? Let me guess. A build battle? We're building secure planets, so I'm going to build a planet and you're gonna build a planet and then at the end of this video we're gonna try to break into each other's planets oh okay llama so i just have to build my own planet again yeah exactly okay all right let's go and you know what for this build challenge i think we do something a little bit different either i'll paste in one planet or i'll paste in a bunch of planets but this time i'm gonna be pasting in a bunch of planets inside of each other so for starters i'm gonna go ahead and load jupiter just like that perfect Perfect. All right, so now that we have this ginormous Jupiter pasted in, we can actually go ahead and go on the inside of it. And as you can see, we've left a bunch of room in here. And now that we're on the inside of Jupiter, we're going to paste our next planet. And don't worry, we're going to get to all the security stuff here in a minute, but we got to paste in all our planets first. So let me go ahead and load the schematic Saturn and then run the command slash slash paste. And there we go. Now we have the entire planet of Saturn pasted within Jupiter. And you might be wondering, um, llama where are saturn's rings supposed to be well if we go ahead and go on the outside of jupiter here they are oh my gosh this looks so funny jupiter isn't supposed to have massive rings like these this is literally insane saturn's rings were too big to fit inside of jupiter so they just look like they're orbiting jupiter and you know what before we keep pasting more planets in i think we should go ahead and start on the security part of our build all right in the first part of our security planet build is that we are going to build a rotating bridge all the way to the entrance of Jupiter. So if we go ahead and grab our mechanical bearing just like this, place it right there, and then we go ahead and grab a creative motor just like this, place it down just like that, and now in order to rotate this mechanical bearing, all we're gonna need to do is to attach a shaft just like this. But first, we're gonna need to go ahead and make our actual bridge. So I say we go ahead and grab our stone brick slabs just like this and start building our bridge just like this. In fact, if we go ahead and extend this bridge all the way out here just like this, and then we use our our wand to select that end and then run this command. Perfect. Now all that's left is to make some guardrails just like this and then also get some fences down. Almost done and perfect. Next, let's grab our super glue and super glue this entire thing up just like this and perfect. And now all that's left to do is to attach a shaft just like this. Perfect. And now we have a perfectly good rotating part. And now all we're going to need to do is run across this bridge just like this. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, no! Aw, oh, darn it, that didn't work at all. Maybe we need to try running along the bottom of the bridge just like this, perfect. And now we can go ahead and open a door just like that, and perfect, now we're on the inside. But what Gold doesn't know about this entrance is that he's actually gonna need a key card to get in. And not just one key card, he's gonna need five of them. Listen, guys, I'm telling you, we're about to make the most secure planet base of all time. So now let's go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, and five key card readers down. Perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and place some iron doors down just like this for every key card, of course. And now if we go ahead and go inside each of the key card readers, which key card gold is going to need to select in order to open up the next door? Almost done. And there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and try out our system. Key card number one. Perfect. Number two. There we go. Number three. Still working. Number four. And number five. Nice. We did it. But like I said, gold is going to actually need to find these key cards. And where he's going to find them is all across the rings of Saturn. So let's go ahead and grab a rover and place it right there so that gold has a vehicle to traverse the entirety of Saturn's rings. And now we can go ahead and place a chest right there with our first key card in it. A chest right here with our second key card in it. And you know what? For this one, I say we go ahead and grab some mines just to do a little bit of protecting with it. There we go. Perfect. Chest number three. There we go. And on this one, we're gonna have a turret on it. So let's go ahead and grab that. Perfect. Another
another chest right here with our fourth key card in it. And you know what? I'm thinking this one is going to spawn a mutant wither whenever it's opened, of course. And oh my gosh, Gold is gonna have to try to run away from that thing because I know he's not strong enough to defeat that. And finally, our last chest. Perfect. And you know what? This chest can just be a normal chest. I bet Gold will be freaking out though. I bet he'll be wondering what kind of traps we placed there. All right, so now once Gold gets past all of that, he's gonna be able to enter Saturn. And wait a second. Oh my gosh, there's so much empty space in here. I forgot we still need to paste in more planets. So now let me go and load the schematic Uranus and paste it just like that. Perfect. All right, and now for Gold to get from Saturn to Uranus, he's gonna need to complete a little maze. And this isn't gonna be any normal maze because this is actually going to be an explosive maze. And what I mean by an explosive maze is if that Gold takes a wrong turn at any point, he's going to come in contact with a mind disguised as a diamond block. And although we can't test this out right now because, you know, I don't want to blow up, it's going to be super awesome when Gold tries to complete this. And in order to throw Gold off, we're actually going to have normal diamond blocks along with the diamond block mines just so that every single time he sees a diamond block, he's not going to know whether it's a mine or just a normal diamond block. So let me go ahead and keep building out this maze just like this. All right, it's almost done. Oh my gosh, this maze is turning out to be pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. All right, and then now once Gold gets here, he's going to have to climb a ladder all the way up here in order to enter Uranus. And oh my gosh, check out our maze. We're gonna need to put some walls on this thing, but for now, let me go ahead and show you the right path. So once Gold enters this room, he's not gonna wanna go left. He's gonna wanna go straight and then take a right and then take another right and then take a left and then a right and then a left and then another left. And then he's gonna wanna take the first right all the way over here. Perfect, perfect. And boom, then he'll have completed the maze. So now let me actually just go ahead and fill all of these walls up with light blue concrete. Just like this. Perfect. And there we go. I think we've got our entire maze done. So now let me go ahead and grab our ladders and we can go all the way up to the top of this maze. And boom. Perfect. All right. And now that we're on the inside of Uranus, we need to paste in our next planet. And that planet is, of course, going to be Neptune. So let me go ahead and load that schematic. And there there we go. Now we've loaded Neptune. But you know, we can't let gold get up there too easy. So I'm thinking we bring this back just a little bit because now I'm thinking we have him do a little bit of parkour. So let me just go ahead and place down my mechanical bearing and start getting some platforms going. And of course, grabbing my super glue just like this. Perfect. And now my creative motor. Perfect. So now we'll need to jump from this platform to this platform just like that. And now I say we go ahead and make a little bit of a rotating ladder platform just like this perfect super glue all of this up just like this and now let's tie a creative motor onto it there we go bada big bada boom oh my gosh wait this is actually gonna be super hard because not only do you have to jump onto the rotating platform you actually have to climb while you're being rotated oh my gosh that was so confusing and now i think we should go ahead and grab some dispensers and some pressure plates just like this place them down just like that and on the inside we're gonna be placing a bunch of aliens. There we go, almost done. And now when Gold steps on this platform, he's gonna be made by a bunch of aliens. And if we put ourselves in survival, oh my gosh, they're super dangerous. Whoa, oh my gosh, they all just fell from that platform up there. Oh my gosh, and they're still falling. All right, and perfect. So now we'll have him do one more jump right over here. And you know what? Now I think we can go ahead and give him some ladders. So let me go ahead and place these just like that. Perfect, just like like this. Climb all the way up here and now we can go in and go on the inside. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome! But of course, we're gonna need to paste in our next planet, Neptune! So let me go ahead and load Neptune really quick, just like that, and then slash slash paste. Perfect! There we go! Now we have Neptune! And you know what? Since this is, of course, a security defense planet, I think our next layer should be covered entirely with obsidian. Because as you know, we're trying to make it so that gold can't break into our planet. So I think we should have an entire obsidian wall covering that's in between the layers 
of Uranus and Neptune. So let me go and place some more obsidian just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, there's no way gold is gonna get through this one. This security layer is definitely going to keep him out. 100%. Because there's just no way that he's actually going to be able to break through. And you might be thinking, well, Lava, then how is he even supposed to get in? Well, since we do have to make this possible, if he stands here and mines this with his fist, he'll be able to break through one layer of obsidian in about five minutes. Oh my gosh, this is literally gonna take gold forever. But if he does manage to get on the inside of Neptune, then he'll be able to get to our next security layer defense. And since under Neptune's surface, there's a ginormous ocean of water, I say we go ahead and recreate that here. So let me go ahead and do that with this command, just like this, and then let's go! Oh my gosh, this is literally insane! And now I think we should have a key at the bottom of that ocean. So I say we go ahead and grab a chest. All right, so now I think we should have a chest at the bottom of this ocean containing some valuable items. And you know what? I'm thinking we put in this chest a ginormous rocket with, of course, some launch pads just so that gold can use it. And you might be thinking, um, Llama, why does gold need a rocket ship? Well, that's because he's gonna need it for our next planet, Earth. But before we go ahead and paste Earth in, we're gonna need something that's guarding that chest. And I'm thinking we go ahead and grab an Elder Guardian. So let me go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean and place down an Elder Guardian. Oh my gosh. All right, so now that we have this massive ocean set up, we need to build our next planet, Earth. So let me go right over here and then type out this command sphere, blue concrete, and then 20. Perfect. And oh my gosh, we need to get out of here. And perfect. Now we have our ginormous planet. But wait a second. This doesn't look like Earth. This is just a big blue ball. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add some continents. Because right now, Earth is just a massive ocean. And as we know, Earth definitely isn't just a massive ocean. It has a bunch of land. So let me go ahead and start adding some of our continents in just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, there we go. Just finishing up North America. Almost done. And there we go. Oh my gosh, this looks nothing like North America. Or right, let me try to make this at least a little bit wider. And then we'll go ahead and extend this down just like this. And uh, that kind of looks a bit more like it. But oh my gosh, this looks terrible. But even still, this barely looks like North America. So you know what? I'm just gonna make up a bunch of continents and start building them. So I'll have one right over here here where Europe would be. Let's go ahead and keep filling this out. There we go. Almost done and perfect. And now I'm thinking we need to give gold a way to get from the ocean up to the top of the earth since that's where he's going to need to place his rocket. So let's go ahead and grab some more of this concrete. Go ahead and go all the way down just like this. Grab our ladders and then build him a nice ladder staircase all the way to the top. Perfect. And now once he's up here, he's going to have to climb all the way just like this. Perfect. And once he's at the top, he'll see a sign that says rocket goes here. Perfect. And now we just need to make sure that there's a hole ready for the rocket to go through. So let me go and set this to air. Perfect. And you might be wondering, um, Llama, why does gold need a rocket? Well, that's because we're going to be sending gold to the moon. So if we go ahead and grab our rocket and our launch pads, just like this, we can go ahead and get inside it. Oh my gosh. Wait, the countdown has started. 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And we're headed to the moon. Whoa. And check this out. Oh my gosh. This is insane. And oh my gosh, using this menu, we can actually go ahead and go to the moon. Oh my gosh. And here we are, the moon. There we go. And the reason why we've sent gold to the moon is so that he can get some cheese, which apparently is only found on the moon. So if we go ahead and go down here and there it is, cheese. There we go, moon cheese or, and now we can go ahead and take this all the way back to Earth. All right, and here we go. We're going back to Earth. All right, here we go, and we have liftoff again. There we go, and now that we have this menu pulled up, we can go in and go to Earth. Oh my gosh, here we are. Um, oh my gosh. And land safely, just like this. And there we go. Um, wait, what the heck? Where are we going? There we go. We made it. And now we can go right back down to Earth, and we can explain to Gold that in order to move on, get cheese from the moon and put it in the hopper. 
So once we have the cheese, the next and final section will open. So let me go ahead and set all of this to air. And there we go. And you know what? If gold can complete all of our security challenges, I say we go ahead and give them something at the core of our earth. So let me go ahead and grab some gold and let's just place it all over here. And you know what? There we go. We've completed our secure planet base. So I say we go to the surface now. Oh, gold, are you done with your build yet? Yeah, I am, llama. Oh, really? Well, I'm gonna go over there and see what you built. Alrighty, llama. Alright, gold, I'm coming over in three, two, one, let's go! Whoa, what the heck? Why do you have a ginormous obsidian planet? What do you mean? This is a security planet. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. And obsidian is like the most secure block of all time. Exactly! Hmm, wait, what the heck is this? Is this a train? Uh, well, kinda. Hmm, well, I don't need the train to break into your planet, and I bet there's some sort of secure door right here. Got it! Wait, how'd you know about that? Gold, it was so obvious. There was a path leading up to it and everything. What? Oh my gosh, Gold, how am I supposed to get back? Well, no worries, because all I gotta do is, uh, oh my gosh, I have to guess this password? Gosh, darn it. Here you go, Llama. I built the path back. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? That clearly isn't the for realsies entrance unless I have to find the password somewhere. Wait a second. Is that what this train is for? Hmm. Let me go in and get inside and, uh, wait. How do I work this thing? Well, have a seat. Okay. Right here. There we go. Hey, look. You have your hat on and everything. Oh my gosh. Check it out. I'm wearing like a conductor's hat or something. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Wait. I think I have control of the train. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Wait. Go. This is insane. Oh my gosh, this is probably the coolest train I've ever seen. How did you build this? Builder never tells his secret. Gold, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love it. And wait, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh, we gotta stop the train. Hey, no llama, why do you have to stop the train? Because there's a big TNT ball ahead. I don't think I want to go towards that. Well, you don't really have a choice. Oh my gosh, I guess I don't. All right, here we go. All right, right over here and perfect. All right, there we go. All right, I'm getting off this train and oh my gosh i don't think i want to deal with all this why not Lama? because it's a gigantic ball of dnt why else don't you think i want to deal with this oh my gosh hmm, let's see all right of course another hidden door duh and let's go ahead and complete this parkour easy peasy lemon squeezy and oh my gosh um gold i have a bad feeling about this why do you have a bad feeling about it uh, uh, uh you know what i think i know what i have to do so let me just go ahead and get right back here and ah! I gotta get out of here! Oh my god! Go, go, run, go! Run, Mama, run! Ah, Wait, oh Mama, run! My gosh. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die! Hey, you're Whoa. not, Mama! Yes, I am! I'm on one heart! Wait, oh. how did you get on one heart? Oh my gosh! Whoa, that was insane! Let me just fix the tracks really quick. Oh my gosh, Gold, your TNT moon almost killed me! No, it didn't, Llama. Don't be dramatic. Uh, Gold, I'm not being dramatic. I'm literally on one heart. All right, well, now I have the code to get in your secure planet, and let's go. All right, I'm getting back in the train. Let's go. Go ahead and do all this, and let's go! Let's go, and now I have the key. Let's go ahead and take this out. Five, one, two, five. Let's go. Five, one, two, five. Perfect. And now let me go ahead and get through all these sliding glass doors open this chest oh my gosh is this one also five one two five it better be there we go okay perfect gold if you made me find another password that would have been so bad i don't know what you're talking about llama hmm, let's see i guess i just gotta go through here and wow oh my gosh what the heck and you have to get through all the rings to be able to get to further in llama oh my gosh here we go here we go here we go oh my gosh i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it almost there right at the end and and boom! No! Wait, Lama, how did you manage to do that? I think I I think I think died because I went into the impact zone too hard. Well, sometimes that happens. Welcome to my planet. Wait, this is your planet? Yeah, see the sign right there. Welcome to Gold's planet. What? So you're telling me that this entire obsidian planet wasn't your planet? It was just this dirt one? Well, no, the obsidian planet is to protect my planet. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't want my planet exposed to, you know, space where there's a bunch of asteroids. I guess this obsidian... Casing makes so much sense now. Not really, 
but I'm glad you came up with an idea for it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going inside. And hmm, wait, who are you? Llama 2. Are you my replacement or something? Well, yeah, he never makes fun of me. Well, I, I don't make fun of you too often, right? And you know what, Gold? This guy doesn't look anything like me. He has such a big nose. No, oh, it's pretty accurate. Wait, what What are you trying to say, Gold? You have a big nose, Llama. What? what? I don't even have a nose. Well, anyway, that's not what I'm worried about. That's another time, another day. Hmm, all right, well, press for a surprise. Uh, Gold, this looks a little suspicious. What do you mean? Um, I don't know. I guess I'll press it anyway, though. Wait, what the heck is this? A penny? What? Gold, this is worthless. Um, gold. What do you what? mean it's worthless? Um, gold, you literally just blew up your own bill. What do you mean? I didn't blow anything up. Wait, that's fine. Gold, your planet is not fine. There's, like, none of it left. Oh, I have more than one planet. Duh. Wait, you like... You're the ruler of the universe or something. You're the ruler of the universe? Since when? Uh, I don't know. Last week? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Gold, what do you mean you were busy? You were busy taking over the universe? Yeah, Llama. See, I got my papers right here. Uh, what? You have your papers? Oh my gosh. What are these papers? License to rule the universe and deed to the universe? Wait, Gold, who gave you these? Um, I don't know. Sky named Link. I can't even remember his name. Well, Gold, if you like own the universe or whatever, do you want to go check out my planet that you obviously own now? Yeah, of course. All right, let's go. And you know, wait, Gold, I forgot to rate your planet. I really like the train, so I'm going to give it an 8.5. Only an 8.5? I put all kinds of work into that train. Well, I, that's like higher than what I normally give you. I normally try to give you a 7, and then you're like, no, Llama, I want an 8. And I'm like, okay, Gold, I'll give you an 8. And now I'm giving you an 8.5. This is fine. Fine, I guess I'll take it. All right, ready? well, Gold, are you ready? Let's go. Whoa, I don't see anything. Llama? Uh, you just have to get closer. Whoa, what the heck? What one of our planets has a giant ring like this? Well, you might be able to figure out why Jupiter has this big old Saturn ring around it later on, but for now, you have to figure out how to get inside. Oh, okay. That's pretty easy. All right, let's go. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know there was a hole there. Oh my gosh, Gold. You already fell for my first trap. All right, I won't fall this time. All right, Gold, let's go. Wait, I have to do another rotating bridge, Llama? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, Gold. What are you doing right now? I'm not doing another rotating bridge. Oh my gosh, Gold. What are you doing? Oh, well, you're not <laughs> even going to be able to complete it. What? Did you fall again? Uh, maybe. Gold, you said you wouldn't fall this time. All right, Gold. Well, I don't know how you're going to be able to do this because the entrance to the maze is literally blocked by the bridge. I'm mm -hmm. um, Gold, what are you doing? Getting some wood. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that there was wood inside of Jupiter. There isn't normally any wood there, but I guess I used some wood to make it. Oh my gosh, Gold, that's literally gonna take you forever. I'll help you out. Thanks, Llama. All right, Gold. Well, now you have to find the keys. To find the keys? Yeah, you have to find the keys in order to open up those doors. All right, Llama. I guess I gotta go back then or something. Yup. All right, Gold, take this rover and try to find some keys. I have to ride on the rings? I've seen this one before, Llama. You've done this before. Wait, where am I driving to, Llama? Just along the rings. I think you already see your first chest. Uh, no, not really. Oh my gosh, you already passed it, Gold. What do you mean I passed it? It's over here. Oh. All right, there you go. Your first key. Perfect. Now I can go back to my rover. And your second key is right over here. Oh, okay. And you know, I'm thinking I add a couple more layers of security to this one. That's fine, Llama. Wait, what? what? How did you do that? Got long arms. Oh my gosh. Gosh darn it. Wait, what the heck is shooting me? Uh, my turret that's guarding your third key. Well, I can get, I'm faster than any turret. I gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, how did you get that? My turret should have killed you. Well, I'm just faster and smarter than any dumb turret. Oh my gosh. All right, Gold, here's your fourth key. Oh, oh. awesome. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh. Wait, uh, Gold, what the heck? How did you do that? I was scared. What? Yeah, obviously you were scared, but how did you just defeat that guy in one punch? Well, I have been working out too, so... Oh my gosh, Gold. You just must be super duper strong or something. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, Gold. You only have one more key. Why isn't there anything around this chest, Llama? Uh, I don't know. It's not trapped, is it? Uh, yeah. It's definitely trapped with the craziest trap you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, there's nothing there. That's kind of lame. Well, yeah. Well, you were supposed to die to that wither skeleton. He was supposed to guard my key. Well, 
spawn something else for me to fight. Uh, okay. I'll, um... I'll spawn this mutant place. You'll never defeat this guy. Take that and that and that. Uh, wait. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. He's actually beating you. Back here. Back here. No way. Oh, my gosh. Wait. This isn't good for you at all, Cold. Come here, you big blaze. Get back here. Take that and take that and take that. Um, Gold. Oh, my gosh. I think it's about to blow up. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, you really do gotta get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. All I gotta do is defeat its little minions. Oh, my gosh, Gold. How are you doing this without any armor or any swords? Oh, I have my space suit on. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Well, I guess I can't <laughs> go that way anymore. So, I guess I gotta turn around. Yeah, you probably do gotta turn around. And now I can just go back to where I came. Yep, let's go. Oh, my gosh, Gold. How did you already get through my first layer of security? Because it wasn't very secure. Yeah, clearly my guards, like my wither skeleton and my mutant blaze, they weren't trained well at all. Oh, well, the turret kind of did a good job. Yeah, the turret did kind of do a good job. Did he almost defeat you? No, but he did better than the rest of them. Oh, my gosh. I guess I need more turrets next time. Gold, and you know what? I'm going to make you actually do this rotating bridge. Let's go. And oh, my gosh. It's still oh, okay. kind of sideways. Oh, my gosh. Boom. What? Oh my gosh. I don't know how you keep doing these random sideways bridges, Gold. I don't know. Two, three, four, and five. No way you did it. Mama, are you really making me do another maze? Yeah, it's part of my security levels. I hate mazes, Llama. I don't trust this block, Llama. Uh, why not? It's probably gonna explode or something. No, it would never explode. See, it's not gonna explode, silly. Okay. Oh my gosh, no way it worked. Let's go. Oh, cool. Now I can get my no, way. No, you're not doing all that gold. You're not cheating this time. You've cheated too many times. Fine, I guess I'll go the normal way, but I'm definitely avoiding these diamond walls. Uh, really? You're not going to be able to avoid it for long. Why not? Uh, because, I don't know. Really good at parkour, Llama. You need to have more faith in Yeah, but only some of the diamond blocks blow up. No, I think they all do. I'm gold. I'm being so for real. This diamond block doesn't blow up at all. Oh my gosh, wait, he's going to the next one. Whoa, what? <laughs> What the heck? Oh my gosh, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen you do. I don't even know how I did that. Me neither. Wait a second, I don't pressure plates either. What's in all these? Uh, aliens. Aliens? Yeah, aliens. Of okay, course. Okay, we're... just run. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm gold. No, wait, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, go, go, go. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them, llama. I know, just turn around and get through it. Oh, I gotta I... make sure they can't get out. True, go, go, go. You know, I'll get rid of all these dispensers so that no more of them can spawn. Hey, Llama? Yeah, what's up? How am I supposed to get through this? Yup, with your bare hands. If you want to get to the center of my planet, of course. Oh, well, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Uh, yeah, and what's that? I think I've got my trusty snack. Yeah, I'm gold. And that and a golden pickaxe. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. And watch this, Llama. Wait, wh wait, what? How are you breaking through that obsidian so fast? Oh, um, I ate my favorite food and I've got my pickaxe. No way. How is that even supposed to work? Gold, that literally makes no sense. Oh my gosh, you just became like a superhuman or something. Oh, uh, but well, yeah, that's why I eat puffish, duh. Gosh, I can't believe that worked. Well, Gold, you're gonna have to get to the bottom of the ocean to get a super secret item inside that chest. Oh, okay, here I go. And watch out for the giant elder guardian. Oh, there's an elder guardian? Where? Uh, over here. I don't know that he sees you, though. Come that's on, good. Bob, go get him. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Bob doesn't see you yet. Oh, wait, Hi, I Bob. think he sees you. Get out of here. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. How did you do that? Uh, I ate puffer fish, remember? Oh yeah, and you're still poisoned from it. No, I'm not poisoned. I'm just drowning. Wait, Gold, did you even realize that you went through Jupiter and then Saturn and then Neptune and then Uranus? And now you're on planet Earth. Oh, I didn't even notice, Llama. That's actually kind of cool. How'd you manage that? Oh, I just built one planet inside of the next. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Rocket goes here. Okay. I think I got a... Yup, you do. Then I gotta do that. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Wait, I can't get in the rocket with you. And now all I have to do is take off. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, Gold, you're taking off. Here I go. Wait, how far do I have to fly, Llama? To the moon. All Bye, the way? Gold. Yeah, all the way to the moon. Wait, Llama, I can't breathe. Wait, what? Put on your space helmet. I don't have a space helmet. Oh no, that's not good. I gotta follow him. Let me grab a rocket. All right, then let's go. Let's follow Gold. And wait, we need a space helmet too. Oh my gosh, wait. Let me just get this and this and this and this. And this. All right, let's go. Oh, get in. All right, just got to use this keypad in order to get to the moon. And all right, here we are. Oh my gosh. Wait, we're, get, wait, we're descending. Ah! Oh my gosh. Wait, Gold, you need a space helmet. Here, put this on. 
Gold, put on that space helmet quick! Oh my gosh. I can breathe again! Oh my gosh, Gold, you almost died! Well, no, not really. I was fine. It just hurt. Oh, really? I, yeah, I guess it must have been that puffer fish you ate earlier or something. Hey, I can see your face through your visor. Wait, I can kind of see your face through your visor, too. Yeah! Alright, Gold, well, what you have to collect here is a little bit of cheese. Oh, okay. Wait, There's cheese on the moon? Yeah, cheese on the moon. Obviously, duh. Oh, yeah, cheese on the moon. Mama, why did you crash? Uh, I kind of didn't mean to. I thought I was slowing down enough. So all I gotta do is mine some cheese. Yeah, exactly. Got cheese, llama. Wait, you have cheese now? Let's go. All right, Gold, let's take a rocket back to the Earth. Okay, llama, do you, did you bring an extra rocket? Uh, of course, I always have extra rockets. How did you afford all these? They're like really expensive or something. Gold, I'm in creative mode. Oh, yeah, right about. Here I go. All right, I'm gonna follow you back. Let's go. Last one there's a rotten egg. Wait, what? That's not fair. Bye, llama. What? Oh, my God. No, you're gonna beat me. Oh my gosh, how is this fair? Gosh darn it. All right, Gold, I'm gonna beat you back to Earth. No, you're not, Llama. All right, come on, just gotta land safely. Here we go, here we go. And I made it before you did. Let's go. Wait, how'd you make it before I did? I'm coming in hot, Llama. Oh my gosh, Gold, you just died. Time to go back down. Wait, Llama, how am I gonna get back down? Uh, I don't know, just don't take fall damage. No, wait, that's not how that works. You know, I'll just give you a bucket of water just like this and now you have to mlg Here it comes! Ah! oh my gosh gold you missed i can't believe i missed that llama that was actually really close for not knowing where the water source was before you jumped well i kind of did but i know what you're talking about all right golden now that you have your cheese put it in the hopper what if i put something else in the hopper it won't work see it didn't open oh i guess you're right <laughs> See, now that you put the cheese in, now the hatch is open. Whoa, all right. Here I go then. Let's go. And here it is, the center of the earth with a bunch of gold. Pretty sure the center of the earth isn't a bunch of gold. Yeah, I kind of made that up. The center of the earth is made of like iron and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of lame. What, what do you mean it's kind of lame? I thought you would like the gold blocks. No, I like the gold blocks. I'm saying earth is lame. Oh, yeah, it is kind of lame for not having a diamond center. All right, gold. Well, what did you think of my build? It was pretty good, llama. I really liked all the planets and the going to the moon was really fun, but you definitely didn't build the moon. Well, um, yeah, I didn't build the moon. I just sent you there. Yeah, so wait, these aren't the planets. If I could go to all the other planets, how are they here? Uh, because these are just fake planets, duh, just like yours. My planet wasn't fake. Well, I mean, it was a dirt planet. You built it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, what do you think I should rate it? Uh, I was kind of thinking an 8.6 out of 10. Llama, I rated a... And I think you cheated again. So, an 8.6? No, you copied these built in, didn't you? Uh, no, I would never paste anything in, duh. This, this earth was authentically made by me. I'm talking about the other planets, Llama. Uh, yeah, like, uh, Jupiter and Saturn. You didn't build Saturn. Yeah, you're right. I did paste it in. I'm sorry, Gold. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. And make sure to check out itslama.shop for our awesome plushies. Let's go. Go get some.